Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thank you for joining in this next podcast on the continuation of verse 102 about Harut and Marut and the relationship between Satan and magic. The story of Prophet Suleiman and the magic craft from verse 102 of Surah Al-Baqarah is very interesting. And I would like to highlight that aspect. Why was Prophet Suleiman mentioned in that particular verse? So the story goes, and again, building on what the 11th Imam in his Tafsir al-Burhan has highlighted about what happened in context of this verse. So after these two angels, Harut and Marut, finished their job, they returned back to their place in heavens towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty God. But people started to develop this kind of knowledge which related to magic craft. Satan helped them until the time of Prophet Solomon. And when he died, Shaitan, Iblis, Satan, had a trick in his mind. He wrote down some of these magic formulas on a piece of paper and put it, put them, put the paper under the throne of Solomon. After the death of the Prophet, he took the form of a man. And in front of the people, he took out this paper, the scroll, from under the throne of Suleiman. And he opened it and he told the people, Look, these are the magical formulas through which Suleiman al-Islam used to control you. Suleiman was not a prophet, he was rather a magician. He used all of this trick and magic craft work to do all these miracles and that was not real miracles and many people believed in what they saw and they were misguided so that's why allah mentions in verse 102 of surah al-baqarah and starts with that and they followed what the devils or shaitan had recited during the reign of solomon it was not solomon who disbelieved but the devil or the shaitan disbelieved teaching people magic and that which was revealed to the two angels of Babylon, Harut and Marut. That is Iblis and his people when they claimed that Suleiman was following magic and he was a clever magician. That's how he was able to do all of these miracles and he was not a prophet and people followed him. The followers of Suleiman, they followed Shaitan and Suleiman was not the, the culprit and that's a that is a fact that exonerates prophet solomon that he was not following uh magic allah said that solomon was truly a prophet and didn't do kufr but the iblis and his helpers they are the kuffar and anyone who believes in them allah also says that those shayateen they are the ones who teach the people this magic and they teach people that kind of knowledge which was sent many years before and has been descended to earth and taught by Harut and Marut, the two angels. So this is kind of like the context of that particular verse where Allah Ta'ala is exonerating Prophet Solomon that he was truly a prophet. He was not a magician. It was Satan who used to have a small group of people inclined to, towards magic. And then after the death of Prophet Solomon, he used, he took that opportunity to misguide many more people and attracted them towards magic. So it, it shows this connection between um, the prophets who are coming from Allah. They will not do magic. And magic is haram in Islam. But shaitan, which is against Allah, it attracts people towards magic to do wrong things and will find all ways to make that attractive in front of the people. Uh, and Allah is categorically saying that Suleiman was not involved in this uh, craft. Thank you. We'll continue this discussion.